I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Everybody calm down. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Sure. Thanks, Clem. <laughs> Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. I had to kill my mom. Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. But I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. That's all I had left of him. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. A man said he had lots of food. There's gotta be something left. Don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Feels pretty good.
It's dead. I guess he slept here. I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Lots of people. It happens all the time now. It's fucking crazy. Pardon my French. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. But I've got to put Beck and the baby first. The whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Ooh. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. Made it. You see anything? I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. W wait, there's another. Luke. Luke.
Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Kenny. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while. These guys caught us. 
She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, well, he never slows down. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. I managed just fine. Now you really do sound like one of my students. And you sound like a teacher. I'll take that as a compliment, thank you. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Looks... great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm-mm-mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Mm-hmm. 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 M